different businesses have different cultures, but Toro was very much grounded in you know, the culture of people values. And so I started here as a service rep. As the landscape of the Toro company grew. So every little plaque up here is a U.S. patent. A boy from Blue Earth, Minnesota became CEO, and four decades later, Mike Hoffman will never forget the steps that brought him here. When I joined Toro in July of 1977, I, I didn't have day one of college. But undeterred, Mike visited what was then the College of St. Thomas. And it just felt right, and they had this new college program. A new option for working students with classes on nights and weekends. So as Mike's career at Toro took twists and turns, he studied a decade straight. Journey. From 1978 to 1988, I never missed a semester. It may have been the long and winding road. I can tell you every moment was worth it, and I know all of you out there feel the same way tonight. He made all A's, all A's. High marks also came from Ken Melrose, Mike's mentor and predecessor at Toro. After a chance meeting on an airplane, a lifelong bond would someday pass the baton from one CEO to another. And I remember Ken saying to me, you know, Mike, you could be a dark horse candidate to run this company someday. Seeing him there sitting across the aisle from me was changed my life. And Ken was the epitome of a principled leader. Which is why just after Ken's death in May 2020, Mike made sure Ken's spirit as a servant leader will always live on. I wish you could be with us today to celebrate the, the Melrose Center. Well, I think his stories will live on in this space, Mike. The Melrose and the Toro Company Center for Principled Leadership empowers tomorrow's leaders to give and serve as Ken did. All possible because of a $1 million gift from Mike's Family Foundation. This a uh, center that he has helped to create does not bear his name personally, but rather that of his mentor. I think he's, he's taught me a humility, an instinct to deflect attention from his own accomplishments. I like to consider myself a model of Ken. And then you look up the definition of the model and it says a small imitation of the real thing. <laughs> he was the real thing. So. I know you got real work to do, so no, thank you. No, for... there's nothing else going on. <laughs> real, the bonds passed yet again. I would not be here talking to you today if not for Mike Hoffman. Around 2007, uh, I had a breakfast with Mike. And he was talking about his career and what he should consider, and I said, you could be a long shot candidate to be CEO, and I've been the CEO since 2016, um, succeeding Mike. He will never talk about this, but if you just look at the performance of the Toro Company in the era that Mike led the company, it really was a turning point. And a lot of that is directly tied to the leadership characteristics uh, and the personal characteristics of Mike. And we'll all be forever grateful for that. Whether you start at the bottom, walk a long and winding road, or give back to where you began, you don't want to Mike shows us mentors matter through it all.